Hello everybody! This video is about updating BIOS and if it's worth doing. In my previous video, how to enter BIOS or UEFI, I told you about BIOS and UEFI, the types of this microcode, how to get there, and how to boot a computer from a USB drive or DVD. Find the link in the description. When do you need to update BIOS? If your computer works without any problems and all of the devices connected to your PC are bug-free, there is no need to update BIOS. But if your computer is relatively old and you cannot con connect a certain device without errors, then updating BIOS can solve the problem. Having Windows 8 or 10 installed on an old PC, a BIOS update can solve the problem with incorrect work of old drivers. Sometimes, when trying to install Windows 10 on an old computer, you can face uh, this kind of screen freezing in the first window after booting the computer, which makes it impossible to continue with the installation of the operating system, and I also experienced such a problem. I solved it by updating BIOS to the latest version. I would like to warn you that updating BIOS is a risky process, and if there is a failure, the problem will be more difficult to solve than just reinstall Windows. Before you start updating, uh, charge your laptop's battery or use an uninterrupted power supply for your desktop computer, just in case there is a power cut during the process of updating. If you decided to update your BIOS, the first thing you should know is the motherboard name and model, as well as the current BIOS version. But if you have a factory-assembled PC or a laptop by a well-known manufacturer, such as Dell, HP, Acer, Lenovo, and so on, then you have to know the computer model name instead of the motherboard name and model. There are several ways to learn your motherboard name. The first way is just to open your system case and have a look at the motherboard. As you can see from the example, there is a large marking on the motherboard. The second way is to press the key sequence Win plus R and enter MS Info 32. In the lines Baseboard Manufacturer and Baseboard Model, you will find the name and model of your motherboard. You can also see the current BIOS version there. You can find this information in the line BIOS version date. If you don't know the model of your computer or laptop, you can find this information in the lines System Model and System Manufacturer. The third way to learn the motherboard name and model is to start the command prompt as administrator and enter two commands. You will see them in the description of this video. The first command lets you know the motherboard name, and the second command gives you the model. Using the name and model of your computer, enter a query like this in the search engine – Dell Optiplex 790 BIOS Update. In your case, it can also include the motherboard name and model, for example, Gigabyte GA-H77MD3H. Follow the first link on the list and study its contents. This is where you can download the latest BIOS version for your computer by clicking on Download file. You can also view previous BIOS versions and supported systems. Read the installation manual and important tips. If you are sure it is the BIOS you need, then download this file. You can update BIOS in DOS, BIOS, or in the Windows environment. I recommend updating it in the Windows environment, because it is the simplest way that even device users can understand. I would like to note that depending on the motherboard manufacturer and computer model, these programs can be very different from the one I will be using, and the steps required to update BIOS successfully may differ too, so read the instructions, which you can find on the website, carefully before updating. Now close every program you can and start on the downloaded file. After that, you can see a warning that BIOS will be updated, so all documents and programs have to be closed. You can't interrupt this process or turn off your computer. Interrupting this procedure will most likely make your system inoperable. Clicking OK, you see another warning asking if you want to continue updating BIOS, and we can also see the list of differences between the currently installed BIOS and its latest version. 
Click OK to start preparations for updating. When it is over, the computer will restart. Right after the restart, the bias updating begins, and in my case it took several seconds. In the end, there is a report saying the update was successful. The system restarts again and now it boots to desktop. I didn't need to do anything else to update the BIOS. To check if the update was really successful, you can also press the key sequence Win plus R, enter MS Info 32, and check the result in the line BIOS version date. If you like this video, click the like button below and subscribe to our channel to see more. We'll be glad to answer any questions in comments. Thank you for watching and good luck!